look for a book on happiness on Amazon, you will find over 80,000 results. If you search for the term happiness on Google, you will find over 800 million results. As a culture, we've almost become obsessed with happiness. Many of the goals that we pursue, we pursue with happiness in mind. The idea is, or so we believe, if I am more successful, I will be happier. Or if I am wealthier, I will be happier. Or when I finally have the body of my dreams, I will be happier. But here's the interesting thing about happiness. Our level of happiness tends to stay fairly stable over time. No matter how much wealth, success, or fame you might chase or experience, the human mind very quickly adapts to your new and improved circumstances and you come back down to the same level of happiness as before. This is sometimes referred to as the hedonic treadmill. And that level of happiness for many of us is a level seven on a scale of one to 10. So the day you get that promotion, yes, your happiness might spike to an eight or a nine, but before you know it, you're back down to a seven. The good news is the same is true for the opposite. If you experience a calamity, your level of happiness might dip to a two or a three, but soon enough, you are back to a level seven. If that is the case, and we may never be able to get to a 10 or stay there for too long, then a better question to ask is not what is a level of happiness that I should pursue in my life, but what is the level of pain that I should pursue, not for its own sake, but because it will also create a sense of meaning in our life. Around 10 years ago, I moved from New York, which is one of the most exciting cities in the world, to Bangalore, which some might argue is not as easy a city to live in. And one might assume I would not be as happy here. But in fact, what I came here in search of is not happiness, but meaning. And because I was willing to endure whatever level of pain that came as a result of trying to build a meaningful career, in the end, what I experienced is not just happiness, but true fulfillment. So the question I leave you with is, what is the level of pain that you would like to accept or engage with in order to create meaning in your life?